Hi there, I'm Salvatore Foto. I'm the training manager for Lavazza Premium Coffees, and today we're here at our training center in New York City, and I get the pleasure of showing you how to make the perfect espresso shots with the help of our friends over at workandplate.com. So, when talking about how to make a perfect espresso, it all begins with the grinding. A lot of people make the mistake that it begins with an espresso machine, and some people think, well, if I have a very expensive espresso machine, it will make a better coffee. Where actually it's false, because it all begins here. As you can see, the grind has to be a perfect consistency, whether it be not too coarse or not too thin. The difference is this. If the grind is too coarse, what will happen is that the espresso will flush out, and you'll get a very, very weak crema, and it'll be under-extracted. If the espresso uh, grind is too fine, what will happen is the espresso will drip, drip, drip out, and by the time you get a one ounce pour, the espresso uh, will be black and be very bitter and acidic. So to guarantee ultimate freshness, I like to buy my beans whole bean and then grind them myself. Now, very important to keep in mind when you do grind, you wanna grind enough for one to two days worth, not about a week's worth. Because what happens with coffee after you open one kilo bag, you only have about two, maybe three days to go through the coffee before the air, the light, and the humidity hit the coffee and turn the beans stale. When pouring a perfect espresso, there are a couple of factors that you wanna keep in mind. First of all, you wanna make sure that your portafilter is clean. Simple by doing this and rinsing the portafilter, making sure you get the excess espresso from the old stuff out. Then you wanna come over here and pull your, your shots. I'll be pulling a double shot, which is two pulls, which equals 14 grams. Just gonna simply tap it and then brush it off and then go right to the machine. So another factor in ensuring a perfect espresso shot is the temperature of the machine, meaning the boiler temperature where the water is contained in the espresso machine. Boiler temperature in espresso machines averages between 185 to 195 starting, and by the time the espresso is extracted, it drops down to between 160 to 165. Another trick is to preheat the cups. Preheating the cups just like this and letting the water sit in there for a couple of seconds will ensure that the inside of the cup is hot. And the reason why that's important is because the hotter the cup is, the longer the crema will stay. Now, what I'm looking for in the pour is a nice, even flow with the crema. Not too fast, not too slow, and it should be between 18 to 25 seconds. So another factor to ensure freshness of coffee is, again, of storage of the coffee and how to keep the coffee fresh. What you wanna make sure you do after you open your bag and take out your desired amount is you wanna do two things. You either wanna make sure that the bag is super, super closed using tape or using something where no air can get in, or better yet, you wanna dump the beans into an airtight container, something that has a, a seal where no air can get in, and then you can simply put the beans in the refrigerator or in a cool, dry place. Again, this is Salvatore with Lavazza, and I wanna say thank you to my friends at forkandplate.com. Uh, and also thank you for learning the guidelines on how to make a perfect espresso. Now, every time you have an espresso at your home or at your local coffee shop, you can enjoy the true quality of what an espresso should be.